Somebody said it must be done. Somebody said it must be done. Hallelujah. Somebody said God's revival. It must be done. Somebody said we're revival. Come on, say it like a preacher. Somebody said we're revival has begun. Can somebody shout a praise to the Lord tonight? Somebody shout word revival. Somebody shout word revival. Somebody shout word revival has begun. Somebody shout word revival. Glory to God. Jesus said, hallelujah, in the word of God, the Bible said, he said, as the waters cover the sea, hallelujah, he said, so shall the earth be filled with the knowledge of God somebody said it must be done somebody said it must be done somebody said it must be done God's revival must be done can somebody give God a praise can somebody give God a shout of praise somebody give him a shout of praise hallelujah hallelujah Turn your Bibles to Acts chapter 2. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, your word of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Every time I hear that song, hallelujah, glory to God, I feel something. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody say, it must be done. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 2, if you dare say Amen. And he said, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire. And it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these that speak Galileans? How hear we every man in our own tongue, wherein we were born, Parthians and Medes and Elamites and dwellers in Mesopotamia, in Judea, in Cambodia, in Potos, Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, and in Egypt, and in parts of Libya, and about Cyrene, and strangers of Rome, and Jews, and proselytes, and Cretes, and Arabians. We do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God. Some of the bless his name. And they were all amazed and were in doubt. 
saying one to another, what mean at this? Verse 13, others mock, saying, these men are full of new wine. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody praise his name. Glory to God. As we look into this hallelujah chapter, glory to God. The Bible said when the day of Pentecost was fully come, somebody bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Before Jesus ascended, hallelujah, he told the disciples, he said, I want you to go to Jerusalem. Somebody praise God. And I want you to wait for something. Somebody bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be sending something to you. Somebody bless the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Bible said when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Somebody bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And when they were on one accord and when they were in one place, something happened. The Bible said suddenly. Somebody bless the Lord. There came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting and there appeared cloven tongues like fire and it sat upon each of them. Somebody give God a praise and when this power, when this fire sit upon them, the Bible said they were all, somebody said all they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance can somebody just speak in tongues right now somebody give God a praise can somebody speak it oh my God hallelujah can somebody speak in tongues right now my God, you're not ready. Pull, can somebody pull the tongue trigger? Sit on your feet. I'm not joking tonight. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. He said they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they spoke in tongues. Come on. Can somebody speak in tongues right now? Come on, somebody. Come on. Can somebody speak in tongues right now? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I can't hear your church. Come on, disrupt the devil. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, you're looking for everything from the preacher. I need some tongues in the house. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody release the. Come on, somebody release. Come on, somebody just release. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. The Bible said, He that speaketh in unknown tongue, speak it unto God. Can, can we speak in tongues to the Lord? Somebody give God a praise. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not the only one in the Holy Ghost tonight. Somebody give God. God, I praise. I'm not the only one that the Spirit of God is upon. Somebody touch your neighbor and say, the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. Somebody give God a praise. And the Lord have anointed you. God's Spirit is upon you right now. Tell somebody the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. Somebody give God a praise. Come on, hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Some of you are afraid. You're afraid to speak in the but don't be afraid. Come on, just release the tongues. Come on. Come on, just talk to God in spirit right now. Somebody bakashata. Come on, somebody, somebody bless the Lord. Somebody just talk to your God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yadababasata. Hallelujah. Don't be ashamed of tongues. Hallelujah. Don't be ashamed. Hallelujah. Your understanding might be unfruitful. Hallelujah. But in the spirit, uh, you're talking mysteries to God. Uh, hallelujah. Somebody bless the Lord. Uh, you are in the presence of God. Uh, somebody bless the Lord. Uh, you are in the presence of the anointing. Uh, you are in the presence of power. Uh, somebody bless the Lord. Uh, you are in the presence of God. Uh, somebody give God a praise. You may be seated. He said, they speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. 
And there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews devout men out of every nation under heaven. And the Bible said, now when this was noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because every man heard them speak in his own language. Somebody give God a praise. This was the outpouring in the book of Acts. Somebody bless the Lord. Glory to God. And the Bible said when it was noise abroad, it brought a gathering. Somebody bless the Lord. Devote men from every nation. Glory to God. They heard this noise. They heard this sound. Somebody give God a praise. Are you hearing the sound of revival? Do you hear the sound of the great outpouring? Somebody bless the Lord. The devote men, they heard the noise. And they came to see what was this noise all about. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody say make some noise. Come on, somebody. Somebody bless the Lord. That's how the outpouring came. It came with noise, my God. Somebody bless the Lord. I said it came with noise. Hallelujah. And when the noise went out, these men came. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And this, is what, this was their response. The Bible said they were confounded. Somebody bless the Lord. The reason they were confounded uh, is because uh, it was not what they were expecting. Uh, they weren't expecting that kind of noise. Uh, it's the first time uh, they are hearing that kind of noise. Uh, somebody bless the Lord. Uh, not only were they confounded. Hallelujah. Somebody praise his name. He said because they were confounded. Because every man heard them speak in his own language. They were confounded by the supernatural manifestation of God. Somebody give God a praise. I'm here to tell somebody. There are many right now are confounded by what God is doing in the move of God. They are confounded. Somebody bless the Lord. And they were all amazed. And they marveled. Somebody praise his name. Jump down to verse 12. Same thing. He said they were, hallelujah, verse 11. He said, Cretes, Arabians. We hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God. So you wonder why were they confounded? Somebody give God a praise. Because the Bible said they heard them speak. Come on somebody. The wonderful works of God. Verse 12. And they were all amazed. And were in doubt, saying one to another, What meaneth this? Others mock and said, These men are full of new wine. I want to leave a short word with you tonight. What meaneth this? Somebody said, What meaneth this? Somebody said, What meaneth this? Somebody said, What meaneth this? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is how they responded to the to the outpouring. The Bible said they were all amazed. They were stunned. Somebody praise God. They were shocked. They were dumbfounded. They were surprised. And they moved from being amazed, hallelujah, to be in doubt. Somebody bless the Lord. In doubt, they become skeptics. Disbelief. Uncertain hesitation glory to God so from being confounded to being amazed come on somebody to be in doubt then they begin to be in question somebody give God a praise if you don't know what mean at this somebody give God a praise you're gonna go on the same road of being confounded of being amazed till you begin to be in question to be in doubt then to be in question they say what mean at this not only that they end up with the wrong conclusion 
conclusion. Glory to God, the wrong assumption. Some said these men are full of new wine. They are drunken. Somebody give God a praise. Glory to God, you see these men, they did not know what the outpouring was. So they call the outpouring, the great outpouring, they call it this. Somebody praise God. They say, what mean it this? Somebody praise God. When God is moving, it's hard to, to find a word to describe it. They didn't know what the outpouring was. So they said, what, what is this? Somebody give God a praise. What mean it this? In other words, what is this? Somebody bless the Lord. The word this is a pronoun used to indicate a person, a thing, an idea, an event, a time. You could call the topic tonight even this. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody say, what is this? Somebody say, what mean is this? Jeremiah 9 verse 12. He said, who is the wise man? Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody give God a praise. Come on, somebody. That he may understand this. Somebody praise God. Let me tell you somebody. God is saying, glory to God, who is the wise man that will understand the move of God that is happening on the earth right now. If you understand this, somebody give God a praise. If you understand understand this uh, you will be in New York City uh, you will be in the great gathering uh, if you ever know uh, what is this somebody said this who is he to whom the mouth of the Lord have spoken that he may declare it somebody praise his name somebody said what is this you're going to love this one now Ecclesiastic 7 verse 10 this one is a real bomb he says, say not thou, what is the cause? What is the cause of the great gathering? Somebody give God a praise. What is the cause of the great outpouring? He said that the former days are better than these. Come on, somebody. I, I, I want you to look at this verse. Go to God. There are some people behave like as if they are not impressed with what God is doing right now. Somebody give God a praise that they are not impressed with the end of God. So God says, Go to God. Say not thou. What is the cause that the former days are better than these? Somebody give God a praise. You know, folks always say, God, not moving now like then. Somebody give God a praise. But God say, you're wrong. God is moving even greater now. You know, Come on, somebody. God is speaking even greater now. Listen to the other part of the verse. Hallelujah. He said, glory to God. Say not now. What is the cause that the former days are better than these? Listen to this now. For thou doest not inquire wisely concerning this. Come on, somebody. Somebody give God a praise. If you make an inquiry, somebody bless the Lord. Concerning this, what is this? Somebody praise God. This is the great outpouring. And God said, if you inquire, concerning this you will not come to the conclusion somebody give God a praise hallelujah that the former days are better than these somebody give God a praise the former days can't be better than this you're not talking to me somebody somebody give God a praise God said you got to make an inquiry somebody bless the Lord somebody give God a praise when Jesus came on the scene in Mark 1 verse 27, he said they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves saying, what thing is this? 
Somebody give God a praise. So when Jesus was, was doing his ministry, hallelujah, they didn't know what to call it. Somebody give God a praise. So they call it this. You know, somebody give God a praise. They say, what thing is this? Somebody praise God. What new doctrine is this? Somebody bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me tell you what is this. Somebody praise God. Glory to God. That's what the devout men call the revival. That's what they call the great outpouring. Somebody give God a praise. That's what they call the move of God. That's what they call the hand of God. They call it this. But somebody say, what is this? Let me tell you what is this. Hallelujah, Peter. In Acts 2 verse 15. Let's look at it. Hallelujah. Peter was going to tell them, what is this? Somebody praise God. Verse 15. He said, for these are not drunken as he supposed. Seeing it is but the third hour of the day. Somebody said, what is this? But this is. Come on, somebody. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody praise God. He said, this. Somebody said this. This is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody said this is. Number one, this is prophecy. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Body of Christ. Glory to God. You want to know what is this? This is prophecy. This is what was spoken by the prophet. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody said this is. Somebody said this is prophecy. It was spoken before by the prophets. It was spoken before by Jesus. Jesus, it was spoken before, hallelujah, by John the Baptist, it was spoken before, by Moses, somebody said this is prophecy, number two, somebody said what is this, this is promise, somebody said promise, this great outpouring is promise, Somebody said, promise. Acts 1 and verse 4. He said, and being assembled together with them, he commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, he have heard of me. Someone said, this is promise. Oh my God. Stay with me because, hallelujah. Acts 2 verse 33. He said, therefore being by the right hand of God exalted, having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody bless the Lord. He have shed forth this. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody said this. Somebody said this. Which he now see and hear. Come on. Can somebody see the outpouring? Come on. Hallelujah. Can somebody hear the outpouring? Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Acts 2 verse 39. Somebody said this is promise. For the promise is unto you. Somebody bless the Lord. And to your children. Somebody bless his name. And to all that are afar off. Even as many as the Lord God shall call. Somebody give God a praise. This outpouring. This promise is for all. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody said, what is this? Somebody said, this is prophecy. Someone said, this is promise. Hallelujah. Number three, this is providence. Someone said, this is providence. Someone said, this is providence. 
Hallelujah. You know why I got to preach this word? God said in Acts, Hallelujah, glory to God. He said, Behold, despisers. Come on, somebody. He said, Wonder and perish. Come on. He said, Lo, I work, I work in your days. He said, I work. You will in no wise believe. He said, Though a man declare it unto you. Somebody give God a praise. I got to do my best tonight to tell you what is this. I want to wake up the body of Christ. Somebody give God a praise that you have never seen anything like this since Pentecost. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody say, what is this? God said, this is prophecy. God said, this is promise. He said, this is providence. What God has determined or ordained that cannot be changed. Hallelujah. It's indefinitely infinite. Somebody give God a praise. It's God's provision for the body of Christ in Luke 11 and verse 13. He said, if then, if he then being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. How much more? Somebody said this. Shall your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Somebody said this. This is God's providence. Somebody said this. Hallelujah is prophecy. Someone said this is promise. Someone said this is providence. Number four, this is purpose. Someone said purpose. Hallelujah. Ephesians 1, 9 to 11. Somebody praise God. And Ephesians 1, 13 to 14. He said, having made known unto us the mystery of his will. Somebody praise God. Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. When they, when, they, when they embark on the outpouring on the day of Pentecost, it was a mystery. Come on, somebody bless the Lord. Somebody give God a praise. According to his good pleasure, which he have purpose in himself. Somebody give God a praise. Glory to God, this is God's purpose. Somebody bless the Lord. That in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he might gather together in one all things in Christ both which are in heaven which are on earth even in him in whom also he obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will somebody praise his name somebody said this in whom also he trusted after he heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after he believed. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody praise God. He was sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Somebody said this. Somebody said this. Somebody said this. This is God's purpose. Somebody said God's purpose. Somebody said God's purpose. Hallelujah. Somebody said this. Somebody said this is prophecy. Hallelujah. Somebody said this is promise. Somebody said this is providence. Somebody said this is purpose. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Number five. This is power. Somebody said this is power. Somebody said what is this? Somebody said this is power. Acts 1 and verse 8. He said but he shall receive power. After the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and he shall be my witnesses, both in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and the uttermost part of the world. Somebody say, What is this? Glory to God. And anybody know that this is power? Let me hear somebody say, Power. Somebody say, Power. Glory to God. If you don't have this, you don't have power. You don't have power over Jew go to God over Muslim if you don't have this you don't have power over Hindu if you don't have this you don't have power over divine if you don't have this 
You don't have power over atheists. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. If you don't have this, you don't have power over false religion. You don't have power over Satan. If you don't have this, somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Jesus told the disciples, he said, behold, I send the promise of my father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued. Somebody give God a praise. With power from an eye. Somebody said, take the power from God. Glory to God, don't come on this ground and leave without power. Somebody give God a praise. Power to prophesy. Power to tell the things that are coming before they come. Somebody said, power. Somebody said, this. Is prophecy. Somebody said this is promise, providence, purpose, power. Somebody said this, this is fulfillment. Somebody give God a praise. This is fulfillment of prophecy. Somebody said this, Acts 2 verse 17. He said hallelujah, but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody say it shall come to pass. Somebody bless the Lord. This is not only fulfillment. Somebody said this is prophecy. Somebody said this is promise. Somebody said this is providence. Somebody said this is purpose. Somebody said this is power. Someone said, this is fulfillment. Someone said, this is the all flesh outpouring. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody said, this is the all flesh outpouring. Somebody said, this is the all flesh outpouring. Do you believe that it is? Somebody said, it is the all flesh outpouring. Hallelujah. He said, and it shall come to pass in the last days, saying God. He said, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters uh, shall prophesy uh, your young men shall see visions uh, and your old men uh, shall dream dreams uh, on my servants uh, on my handmaids uh, I will pour out in those days uh, my spirit uh, and they shall prophesy uh, somebody say this uh, this is uh, the all flesh outpouring stand on your feet if you don't believe me, somebody give God a praise. If you're not conv convinced that this is it, somebody said, This is it. Hallelujah. The, the whole world was looking for Jesus. Somebody give God a praise. But when He came, they didn't know that this was the Christ. Somebody give God a praise. They wait till he's gone. Somebody give God a praise. But John the Baptist was smart. While Jesus was around, he sent his disciples and said, Art thou the one that should come? Somebody give God a praise. Or should we look for another? If you don't know that this is it, glory to God, hallelujah. Somebody give God a praise. You will go look for another and find the wrong one. Somebody give God a praise. Glory to God, it's just like some folks uh, when they meet their wife, uh, they don't know that it is their wife. Uh, they are looking for another uh, until they get there. Come on, somebody, uh, they made the wrong choice. Uh, you gotta know what is this. Uh, somebody give God a praise. Uh, you gotta know when you are in the real thing. Uh, you gotta know when you have the real thing. Uh, somebody give God a praise. Uh, you gotta know when you have goal. Uh, somebody give God a praise, uh, or you will exchange it for wash over somebody praise God somebody give God a praise but Jesus said to John the Baptist disciples he said tell John he said look the blinds have their eyes open come on the deaf have their ears and stop somebody give God a praise and Jesus begin to name it out somebody said what is this 
Sandy L said, you got to know what is this. He said, you guys are always spot on. Thank you for your channel and your prophecies. Rosemarie said, I have never seen these folks get it wrong yet. Praise God for true prophets, not a bandwagon cheerleading. Another person said, all these guys above Harvest Army, their prophecies always happen, always come true. If nothing happens with Shemitah year, after all they have said, they saw visions and dreams. We Christians will cop so much more flack. Brianna said, I have heard about your ministry through Instagram. I've heard about your accurate prophecies as well. I'm intrigued by your ministry. I do hope to learn more about it. Blizzard Net said, I'm track train derails over turns in Philadelphia just now. Just like prophesied in our Vesami last Sunday. Thank you, Lord, for using your vessels to warn us of calamities to come. Daniel said, this is truly a last day's prophetic church. Rose said, I have heard many of their prophecies and a lot came true. Jerome said, I have followed them, Ave Sami, since 2009. And I can honestly say that everything I have ever heard them prophesy has come to pass. Kathleen Han said, I have seen this, the church, this church prophecies. Let me start that one over. Kathleen Han said, I have seen this. Oh my God Almighty. Somebody give God. You don't get it. I have seen this church prophecies be fulfilled. That is why I'm not afraid to post this. Somebody said, post this. Teresa said, you have a big problem. All the prophecies given have come true. YouTube won't allow that because it proves God Almighty is real. Somebody give God a praise. Do you know what is this? Jessica said, simply awesome. Best ministry in the USA. Praying everyone is safe through the snowstorm. Somebody give God a praise. Yeshua Blessing said, amazing prophecy, God is good. Another person said, this is the best teaching in America. Wish I could be a part of it. Lily said, thank you for your warnings. The prophecies from this church have come to fulfillment over and over again. You don't believe? Check out their YouTube channel and see for yourself. They come to pass. Listen and take it. Somebody said, what is this? Alicia said, thank God for Harvest Army. You must listen and take notes. Pray when you hear revelation that no man or other preachers can speak. Mega churches are falling. God's word is not there. But a humble church in the Bronx can tell you what CNN wish they can make up. All those who should try to make it there at least once, one time. Somebody give God a praise. The Holy Spirit is there. Paisley said over and over again, the prophecies of all the psalmist saints come true. Are you getting tired of this? Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. I, I can't get in part, part B of the sermon. But God, all I was able to talk about is what is this. I didn't talk about the meaning yet. Somebody give God a praise. But somebody said, what is this? You got to know what is this. Somebody give God a praise. If you notice all of those comments, and there's a lot more. There are hundreds more. Somebody give God a praise. Not one of it lift up a man. There's no man name in one of these. Somebody, you're not talking to me. They, they said church. They said, come on, somebody. They said army. They said guys, come on. What is the meaning of this body of Christ? What is the meaning of this? Glory to God, Jesus Christ is calling you. For this is not a one church thing. Somebody give God a praise. This is not a one denomination thing. This is not a one bishop thing. A one Christian thing. A one pastor thing. Somebody give God a praise praise her. It's for all flesh. And God is saying, come for this. He said, come for this. 
It's not only for harvest army. Somebody give God a praise. It's not only for our guys up here. It's not only for harvest army, but it's for the body of Christ. And this is the evidence that the outpouring has begun. Somebody give God a praise. Will you receive this? Will you accept this? Don't be a skeptic. Come and receive this. Somebody said this. Somebody said this. We could go on and on. Hallelujah. But God said, don't say that the former days are better than these. He said, thou hast not inquire wisely. Somebody praise God. Concerning this. Do your research, church. Seek for the voice of God. Because if you wisely seek for this, oh my God, somebody give God a praise. If you wisely look for this, you go find this. Somebody give God a praise. You go be endued with this. Is there one person here tonight that is not safe? Come and give your life to Jesus. Come in this. Come here and be a part of this. Somebody praise God. Come and give your heart to Jesus in this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nothing else matter but this. Somebody praise his name. The Lord was ministering to me today. If you know you're going to die within one hour, what, more, what is the most important thing you would want? I'm sure it's not food. Sure, it's not money. Somebody give God a praise. I'm sure it's not fame. Somebody give God a praise. I'm sure it's not house. I'm sure it's not car. Come on, somebody. Somebody bless the Lord. You want life. Come on, somebody. And this life is in Jesus. Is the one here that says, Yes, the Lord, wake me up today. The most important thing you want. If you have one minute left, or ten minutes. You're going to die. You want salvation. You want to know that you are saved. Take a hold of this. Hallelujah. Bishop Alistair.